it does feel like one of those relationships where you just you just had a giant fight and you said so many nasty things that you know you're never really gonna get it back together. You'll stay together. You'll For stay together because you don't want to be alone and who are you gonna date, Mitt Romney? <laughs> but, but I feel like this week, the magic is gone. You know, he's still really popular with his base. He's got critics like us, but it's got to be said. He is still in the 80s with African Americans. He's dropped with Latinos. Liberal Democrats still like him. It's dropped a little, but it's more like 77%, not 82%. Do you think Hillary would have been better? I don't, I don't regret anything in life, and so I don't really go there. I will say... I think she would have been. All right, you go. Yeah, I, I think... <laughs> I, I, I actually count her as a friend. She, she once publicly said I was her favorite astrophysicist. <laughs> I had to ask her, how many does she know? Yeah, you know you're mine, too. But just, <laughs> just to clarify that. Uh, I, I sense, not that I know, I'm, I'm just an astrophysicist. Why would I know for sure what would happen on Capitol Hill and the White House? But my sense was that she, lover or hater, might have been a little more effective negotiator in the halls of Congress to get the job well, done. That was yeah. my sense. Because this is Obama saying, you know, kumbaya, right. and that works, you know, in the field, but th when that's the rubber right. hits the road, somebody's got to cut a deal behind Having, a closed door. And they want to chop it And that's how off. the country works. Having lived through B.J. Dizzy Dress and <laughs> impeachment and all of that, she would never have thought, like Obama seems to think, that he can win them over, negotiate with them. She would have known, you know, I, she, would, she knows how to deal with difficult men. <laughs>